Hello, my name is Chris Nicholas. I'm a member of the ELPO, and today I'm going to show you how to do a first aid boot for equine horses that may have an abscess or a sore on the bottom of their foot. And um, there's often a lot of questions I get on how to apply a uh, duct tape boot, so I'm going to show you a way. I have um, some of the products that you may have laying around your house. Uh, Arty Mud and Field Paste are uh, antibacterial products made by Red Horse. Sam Austin has put together some great products there. I'm going to use Epsom Salt Poultice. There's multiple different variants of this. Duct tape, vet wrap. This is uh, an orthopedic um, bandaging. It's essentially cotton. And I have um, Elasticon. First step is I'll make a, a duct tape quilt, if you will, and I've already started it up here on my trailer. I've done two layers. I'm gonna do the third. I'm just tearing off strips that are roughly about 12 inches. And having this already pre-made uh, allows for the application to be a little bit smoother. Often the horses um, that are uncomfortable you have a short period of time that they're willing to pick up their feet so you want to have as much stuff prepped as possible I'm going to show you on this model foot here today of how I'd go about treating it so where I would want to put anything that uh, I was concerned of bacteria developing I'm going to put it in the commissures of the frog maybe in the central sulcus here or any area that I was concerned that would have uh, bacteria infection Second, I'm going to use Epsom salt poultice and apply that liberally over the bottom of the sole. And while that's happened, I already will have my gauze right here. So if the horse needs to put its foot down, it can put its foot down, have a break. Next step, will I have some pulled cotton or the orthopedic bandage. Essentially, it's just soft cotton. I'm going to lay that over the heel bulbs and do a wrap with my vet tech, not vet tech, sorry, vet wrap. And uh, that just helps protect the heel bulb if you're gonna have to do this multiple times. And then you don't need a lock. Horse can put its foot back down again. This is where having your duct tape quilt pre-made, really handy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a few slits in it, just so it molds around the foot a little better when I put it on. I'm kind of envisioning the shape of the horse's foot and cutting up to about that point. All right. So once I have this ready, I'm gonna want my duct tape ready, a pair of scissors ready, and I'll even have the little tabs of the tape that I want to use ready to go so that I'm not fishing for it when I'm underneath the horse. So at this point, I'll ask for the horse's foot again. You can put this duct tape quilt straight on the horse's foot, fold the tabs over like so, like so. The horse needs a break, you can put the foot back down again. So this is the part that, to keep this package together, you want to go ahead and run your duct tape from the toe of the horse's foot up over the heel bulb like this. And you wanna do that about three times, wrapping it from the toe up over the heel bulb, directly to the skin. So in this way, I'm gonna go over the toe, up over the heel bulb, over the toe, Heel bulb maybe about three times and then you can switch to the heel and kind of go up over the coronary band so it would look like you are going now from the heel so the coronary band to your heel and now you're going to be wrapping it in this manner so the first time we wrapped it from toe over the corner, over the heel bulb, sorry. Now it's gonna be from the corner band at the toe around the heel. This Dad. helps lock it in. Daddy's doing a video right now, so you're interrupting. Okay. 
Then last but not least, you can just wrap it around the circumference of the foot. So that's a basic first aid boot that you can make. You can add a piece of foam to that package. You could even use this purple podiatry plate that Mark Plumley makes. You can cut out a little window if you need to. Other materials that are laying around your home, you may have some athletic foam that you can cut out. Works great. Even blue insulation foam works quite well. If you are ending to you need to soak a foot and in between having this boot on, one of the great inventions that I have found is essentially it's like a dry bag. And you can use this to soak a horse's foot. Um, put the horse's leg in it, fill it up with water, tighten it up around their leg, and you don't have to worry about them knocking over the bucket, tipping it over, having to have multiple soaps. Um, they seem to really appreciate it. So great little hack to know if you are looking for soaking feet on a regular basis. Uh, that's a good tip. Close up products again that I use Epsom Salt Poultice. Comes by multiple names Equine Poultice, Mag 60, Magna Poultice. Duct tape, you want to use the duct tape that's flexible, not the real rigid kind. Uh, Nashua is probably one of my favorite, just Home Depot. And that kind of covers it. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.